Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for yet another Sims 3 store world review and this time it is on Dragon Valley, which is essentially a modern medieval world full of myth and fantasy and ultimately some drama, which is totally right up my alley. Now typically I'm not really into the medieval scene, um, I guess, I just, I'm just not into that era, I never really was. I'm more of a factual type of person, so I'm going to be ultra Ultra critical um, and even more brutally honest than I typically am so I'm gonna go ahead and put down in the description um, the price points the breakdowns the yada 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 the boring stuff um, just because it, it's really boring and I would rather just jump on in and spend that extra time exploring this cool new world so as for the description to this world it reads Welcome to Dragon Valley, a land full of myth and fantasy. It has been years since any adult dragons have terrorized this peaceful town, but it is not yet time to rest. The elven sims of Dragon Valley are working to ensure that the military is up to par, their citizens are prepared for disaster, and that the scientific techniques they've used to keep the dragonlings small stay intact. These skies may be clear for now, but beneath the surface, a conflict is brewing between the Mithrilin and the O'Connell families for control over the town. It's tradition versus progress. On which side will you stand? Awesome. I totally love that description. It seems like this is going to be a cool kind of world. Definitely interested in exploring. So let's go ahead and uh, jump into Create a Sim so I can show you all the cool new clothes. So we are going to start off with the dudes since they get the least amount of love in this world. The first thing you will be getting is this shirt right here. And essentially what it is is like a uh, button up, you know, medieval dress shirt to expose the non-existent manly chest hairs. But it's very detail oriented. I do like the cuffs and you know what? I actually, I do like this piece. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and yeah, I know I do say that quite often. Uh, the second thing is a nice, amazing, flowy, airy little skirt when things get quite quite hot and taut up there you know you're gonna catch a nice a nice breeze so this is a little um a little kilt that you get as well um and now we are going to go ahead and uh show you the very last shirt here hold on one split second for the last shirt, you're going to get something that's really going to make your, your male sim look like a, you know, knight in shining armor or something like that. I don't know if that's how you say it, but this is really cool. He kind of reminds me of Amadillo just a little bit, but it's very medieval. It's very like warrior-esque. I would have loved to see some more pantalones because I mean, I'm not going to be judgmental here, but I cannot take this dude seriously when he's wearing a kilt. So it would have been kind of cool to see some more like... I don't know, armatic looking um, pants. That's not a word, but we're going with it. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the little like single pieces. So last but not least, you're gonna get one full outfit for your males. And this one here is really, uh, I like this one actually, because it kind of looks like these are little boots and there's a lot of detail and um, you can really make these kind of like the way you want them, customize them. There's different variations and you know details and stuff like that. So yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, they're kind of lacking in the clothing department and I think they do have a few other medieval sets available on the store. However, obviously, me and not being into the medieval ish stuff I don't really own any so it would have been nice to see some more included for the dudes in this pack but anyways we are gonna go ahead and move on to the lovely ladies so for the females you're gonna get two brand new hairstyles and the first one is obviously this one here now it's kind of like a shorter hairdo um, almost pixie ish if you will now I'm not normally a fan of short hairdos because I feel like they lack any sort of like you know feminism or anything like that so typically I stray away from these type of hairstyles but this one I 
love. I love it because of the little, you know, detailing in the front, like the bangs, how messy, how modern it is, even though this is a medieval set. So I actually enjoy that one quite a bit, and I'm a pleasantly, pleasantly, <laughs> I'm uh, pleasantly surprised. That's funny. Uh, so for the second one here, it's not too shabby, but it's definitely, you know, doesn't, you know, doesn't, uh, you know, float my boat at all. Um, I don't know why, because I feel like there's just something like this already, except this one isn't as like fluffy. Kind of reminds me of something a poodle would be would be rocking but it's not too bad I just feel like this part up here looks a little strange so it would have been cool to see some bangs or I don't know something a little bit different but those are the two hairstyles Moving on into the tops, I do believe you'll be getting two new shirts with this set, this set as well. Uh, the first one here is so freaking, oh my god, I love this. Like, I don't even have a word for it. Like, the detail, how, like, crisp and clean it looks. I mean, the medallion even. It, this is super freaking sexy. I absolutely love, love, love love this top like in any any variation this thing looks looks like a beast i just love it i think it's really pretty um yeah i really freaking like this i'm really impressed so the second one here is actually a little farther down and uh i, I like this one as well and again it kind of reminds me a little bit of the first one with the little like medallion looking thing but i do like the detailing on this um i would actually wear these I mean, I don't know if I would wear these in every day, but I would probably figure it out. They're just really cool. Like, I absolutely love, and this is coming from somebody who isn't really into the medieval, you know, type of style or whatever, but, like, I really love the clothes so far, and um, I think they did an awesome freaking job. Moving on to the full outfits, there are four included. So the first one here is just pretty plain Jane, very basic, um, very loose fitted almost. I do like it, it has nice subtle detailing. I like the zipper in the back. I mean, I've seen so many of the outfits where they don't include the zipper and I'm thinking, how the hell did that girl get into that thing? I, oh, I feel for you lady, but I do like little added uh, details like that. So that is that dress. This next dress is a little saucy, quite revealing, and I don't know, for this era, I think it'd be off with your head sort of situation because this is extremely, extremely flashy for that era, but hey girl, if you got it, you rock it. I don't really know what else to say, but I do really love the detailing. Like, I can't say it enough. The detailing they did is impeccable. I really like that they have focused so much on making these pieces unique, one of a kind, and honestly something really pretty to look at okay love 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 this freaking dress like seriously this almost kind of reminds me of like a roman era I feel like we're taking a trip back into like the day with all these outfits like seriously this is gorgeous i really really love the belt across the waist how it flows to each side and it really balances out each other and this green is oh it's a really pretty freaking color so love this dress so this is the last and final outfit and i'll be completely honest probably my least favorite if not a total dislike and i don't know why i don't like it i think it's strange it looks weird it kind of looks like she she has a little i don't know a little problem going on down here it kind of reminds me of an upside down tulip i don't know i just don't like this one but overall i will say i freaking Oh, I have a fat smile on my face. I just love all the women's outfits. I mean, they really did a fantastic job. So having one dud doesn't, you know, doesn't really kill me. I really love the, uh, the women's clothes. So anyways, we are going to finally now hop on in to Dragon Valley and officially explore this cool new world. Alrighty, so here we are finally in the world of Dragon Valley. Now there are a couple things I would like to share with you so you all kind of have a better understanding of what I am showing. So with Dragon Valley, uh, there are two different editions. There's Standard Edition and there is the Gold Edition. The big biggest difference is obviously the price point um, and the fact that you'll be getting a few new or a few more cooler things with the Gold Edition than you would the Standard. One of those things being is that you'll actually get an additional 1900 sim points. With that, you could go ahead and buy whatever your heart desires in the store 
store or you can buy one of the new lots that goes along hand in hand with Dragon Valley. And if you do purchase that lot, you'll actually be able to unlock the Black Dragon, which is pretty, pretty dang spiffy. Um, that world, or not that world, but the lot is actually called the Duke of Bow's Renaissance Fair. And uh, with that, you can unlock archery, and you can also unlock the violin, which is pretty cool. And I place the Renaissance Fair right here, um, kind of by this little little doodad thingy majig. Um, so that's what I actually chose to spend my money on. So that's pretty much the biggest difference. And you also get a um, a, a set, and the set is called Celtic Lands, and that includes ten new objects as well. So pretty much gold edition is everything the standard has, but um, a few little extra cool perks. So I think that's pretty much pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, again, you don't have to necessarily use your points to buy this land. You can actually buy it separately with or without Dragon Valley for 1,900 sim points. But, you know, just, just throwing that out there because I will be showing you all that later. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and take a bird's eye view peek of this world. What I do like is that it is huge. You're going to notice there's so much detail, so much land. The, the world is just so lush and green and detail oriented the different types of um, buildings are so gorgeous in their own right and they possess a lot of different character um, what I do like is that they kept everything kind of in the center here, like all the little lots and, you know, main communi uh, community lots and things like that. But if you want, you can get away from it all and go, you know, take up a cottage in the countryside, you know, raise your little sim jelly beans over there. Or if you want, you can, you can live where all the magic happens. It's completely up to you. But there's just a lot of different kind of... I don't know, things that are unexpected about this world. Like there's a little beach off in the coastal line or perhaps this little house that's on its own little private island and a few extra islands that hopefully you'll be able to explore if you get Island Paradise this June. Uh, and then over here you have like kind of like, I don't know, more like farmland-esque looking things. It's very, very like secluded over here. And, um, yeah, there's just, there's just so much. Like, I can't even, I can't even, ah, I can't even grasp it. I just, I really, really, really love the way this looks so far. So, I think that's all I really wanted to say. Uh, we are going to go ahead and jump on into live mode so I can show you all the lots, or some of the lots, most of the lots, individually. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you all some of the lots. Now, I can't show them all even though I'd love to, but I will do the best that I can. So over here, it is the Drake School of Life and Learning. And um, this beautiful building is amazing. Like, oh my goodness. This is insane. Wow. They put so much effort into this. Like, this is beautiful. Now, again, I'm not into the medieval era by any means, but I can see the appeal because their buildings are gorgeous. And they're just there's just something about them that, I don't know, it's kind of magical and, and charming. One thing I noticed when we were taking a peek around town was this little tent. Although I didn't know what it is, but at first it does seem to me that this is actually where your sims would join the uh, uh, athletic career. If you're wondering what this little guy is, it's the Weatherstone from having Seasons and Supernatural installed. But this is what this looks like here. Pretty much it, it looks like a circus, not gonna lie. Um, let's go see what else we can find. Um, this is the new city hall area, which is pretty cool, pretty tiny and quaint. Uh, over here is the hospital, which is gorgeous. I like the little cross that's up there. This is so, wow, this is so beautiful. I love it. And like the little arches and just the detailing on this beast is so beautiful and little kind of like garden looking thing in the middle. This is really nice. Okay. Um... Over here is the community garden, which is, oh, I love the gardens. I love worlds that include that because I'm, I don't like to do the hard work of, you know, growing my plants and all that crap, but I do, <laughs> I do like to reap everyone else's harvests, if you know what I mean, you know, just cut out the middleman, you know. So that's the community gardens with the little um, water well thingy-mabobber. 
Uh, we have the uh, City Car 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 Memorial Lot, which is where your Sims go to RIP rest in peace. That's pretty creepy. Um, but hey, it's, it's a nice place to rest. There seems like a decent enough um, lot space. I do like it. It's very tiny. Only thing I don't like is that it's like smack dab in the middle of town, right next to the Playful Park. You got the, you know, the dead memorial lot. Uh, let's check out the Playful Park real quick. Looks like there's Sims already here, like just chilling. We got uh, Mor Morgan O'Reilly, and we got Fiona O'Reilly. Um, but this is actually a really nice little place, and it's just so scenic. That's what I love about it. And I do think that big old mansion was, um, what is it, the O'Connell household. So one of the um, households that's having a feud with, I don't know, the other household or whatever it was. So that's that. Let's see what else we got going on. We, I do know that there are a couple bars or maybe a bar and a tavern. The first one is the McCaffrey's McCaff, Pub. I don't know how to pronounce half of these words, but this is what this little guy looks like. Let's go ahead and take a peek on inside. Um... So very traditional to the medieval theme is having the extremely long uh, long tables that go on for miles and the chairs to have feasts and just, you know, have really huge gatherings. That's what that looks like. And then over here you have your logic tables or your chess tables and then your little um, quick drink bars, which you could actually use the late night bars and make it an official manly pub and then you can always switch out this stuff too because it's modern you don't have to you know keep the traditional board games and stuff you could you could do whatever you want girl um so that's that pretty pretty snazzy um i wanted to go and check out the uh, the beach that i saw over here on the coastal line um let's go ahead and just see what's around here a lot of trees oh these are cute <laughs> <laughs> the little umbrellas. I could definitely cop my in the tan here. And wow, like look at that. That is so, oh my goodness. It is so beautiful and so like secluded. Oh man, that's really nice. I like that a lot. Okay, let's see what else there is. Um, There's another beach. There is the Dragon Tavern. Man, this poor soul must be happy. I was going to say, if you live there, you, you know you go in every day. You get yourself a drink. But this is the tavern, and then the other one was the pub. So let's go ahead and let this load up a little bit. Um, we'll go in inside and check out things. So, wow. This is actually my first time seeing this, and I am impressed. It's kind of, kind of more, I don't know. I feel like this is more like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I, I got the word on the tip of my tongue, but of course, it never comes out right. But it, it's different, and I like it a lot. It feels a little more modern to me. Um, with the color palette and everything. I really love this. And over here is kind of like some, like a little study area. If you, you know, you're too drunk, you can, you can sit your happy butt down and, and relax a little. So that's that. And these are actually the new sinks that come with, um, with Dragon Valley. So that is that. Uh, let's see. Well, we're going to go ahead and I guess I can show you guys one more thing. Um, let's see. There's the local grocer. Um, ooh, this is nice. Like, I love the ivy. I was, I'm a sucker for ivy. Love it. It's such a pretty detail. And I like that you, there's a little, like, seating place out here. I wonder if you can actually sit outside. Um, no, but it's still nice to have anyway. So that's the local grocer. Um, I'm going to show you all a couple more of the homes that come with this. Uh, the first home I will show you is the one that I chose. How about that? Uh, so this is the, let me see. I forgot what this one is. Um, the Meek Manor. And um, what I do like about this is that it's very small. It's tiny. It's affordable. And it has so much pizzazz to it for being such a tiny house that it's actually really freaking cute. I love the detailing of the roof. I think that's very unique. I like the doors. Um, the inside, however, is a little, a little confusing. Um... But again, you know, it is what it is. I like the little uh, sink and things like that. It's kind of a cheaper home. So, you know, you don't get all the uh, bells and whistles. And then these are our two Sims from Create a Sim. She looks really enthused with, uh, with Jonathan here. 
Um, all right, so since we are broke, let's check out some of the bigger homes. Um, let's see what this is over here. I don't know whose house this is. This is the Oshia household. So this is what their house looks like all loaded up. It's pretty dark, dreary, and dreary, I guess. All those D words. Uh, I do like the fact that the architecture of these buildings is so complex. You can tell they put a lot of effort into them and they're all like little works of art. Uh, this kind of is a little interesting, little pops of color, I guess. You gotta, you gotta add it somewhere and beggars cannot be choosers. Um, oh, <laughs> it looks like some of the Oshias are out playing some catch. I mean, you do have a big yard, so why not take advantage of it? And it is a really nice summer day. Um, I guess I'll show you one more. Let's see. This is the, um, the McGrath, I believe, McGrath house. And uh, this is actually a really cute little home. I like that they're... These homes are kind of like tall, like I guess in height, and very small, and I do like that. I like very cozy, compacted homes, and uh, this is actually really cute. Okay, sorry, I'm pretty much done with showing you all like the lots and the houses. I think we can go ahead and um, move on in to the, uh, showing you all some of the baby dragons. Not exactly sure how you get yourself a dragon, I honestly have no idea, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and search for them, and when I find them, I will be right back. All right, so surprise, surprise, it didn't take me that long to find them. Actually, they are in the pet section, which is pretty obvious, Jen. <laughs> anyway, so we are going to, ooh, we have a lot of lot space, so we're going to go ahead and plop ourselves some dragon eggs. I will do, I guess I'll do like four dragon eggs. How about that? Four or five. I don't know how many. Uh, we'll just do a few. I had no idea that they started off as eggs, which is pretty, pretty cool. Oh my gosh, I thought these were $39. They're 395 Jen. Learn how to do math, girl. All right, so all we can really afford is um, just five of them. And I don't know how long it takes to have these little suckers hatch. Um, but we can actually, we can talk to the egg. We can brag about physical prow prowess. Yeah, sure. Uh, gossip, about, gossip about love and fire. Talk about the weather. We could talk about a job, but we're unemployed. Um, what a man. Talk about friends. Egg paradox. Plot against enemies and converse about excellence. <laughs> I think we're going to uh, plot against enemies. So maybe talking to the eggs might have some sort of influence. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll have her talk about love and fire. Because out of the two, she's probably a calmer sim, I would say. So let's go have Jonathan go over here and start chatting up this little embryo here. Okay. Okay, that's kind of creepy, Jonathan. Oh, oh gosh. It's like the little baby interactions, like when he's talking to a tummy, but he's being ultra creepy, and so is she. What is this crap? <laughs> um, all right. Well, that is nice. Uh, while they're, you know, after they're done talking to the eggs, I think we should go visit the, um, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Duke of Beaux Renaissance Fair, just because we have some time to kill until the eggs hatch, and why not go and explore this lot as well, um, while doing so. So anyway, this is the, uh, the Renaissance Fair. Pretty, pretty cool. Um, don't really have a lot to say about that, but I wonder if this will double as, like, a seasons lot, or if it could. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, however, there are really cool little objects that come with this. Like, I love these little uh, tent things almost and the new little play set. And what is this exactly? Oh my goodness, this is a barbecue. How cool! Those are so awesome. And then you have, what is this up here? Just a decoration? Oh, you can, oh, that's the archery thing. Is it? Gosh, Jen, what are you doing, girl? Get it together. Oh, yeah, no, it's an archery set. That's so awesome. So, and they have little toys here that are, I guess, what is this, a dragon? I was going to say it's a, it's a bull, but we are wrong. Okay. Um, let me pause this really quick. Wow. There's just so much, oh, my gosh, so much to explore in so little time. Okay. So, it's the bottom floor. We'll go upstairs. Um, looks like that is the violin 
in its case, which is pretty cool. I, I've actually forgotten all about being able to play violin, but I, I like the, the aspect of musical instruments and having smart sims and, you know, being really intelligent and things like that. So I'm cool that they finally have brought that back, and it's pretty exciting. I've never done archery before. I mean, not, I have in real life, but after I shot my uh, teacher in the leg, my PE teacher to be exact, I wasn't allowed to mess with those arrows anymore, so. So we can check high scores, practice archery, challenge the board. Um, we are just going to practice in extreme shots, and then we'll have him challenge the board and we'll do quick shot. I really don't know what exactly happens. Obviously, I've never tried this before, but we're gonna go have them um, test out these new objects for us, and then later we will play the violin, um, which I'm sure we're going to be total pros at. Yeah, totally. So she kind of reminds me of Xena, the warrior princess. If you guys know what I'm talking about, high five, you get a cookie because that's like super old school. But that outfit totally reminds me of that. Um, oh my. <laughs> that's kind of cool if Jen wasn't in the uh, little shrub there. Oh wow. So that's awesome. He's doing really terrible. Oh my goodness. That's cool. And so obviously maybe there'd be a new skill with this. I don't know. We would have to we would have to play a little bit longer. So we're gonna now have Jonathan do the extreme shot. So you can really really see them going at it here. Her, on the other hand, um, Natalia looks like a total pro when doing this. This is kinda cool. Let's get a let's get a little more closer here. Oh, this poor guy. <laughs> This is so cool. I love it. And this would be awesome to add to your existing gameplay. Um, and, you know, some little extra outdoor activities when it's summer and it's nice outside. So, alrighty, uh, Natalia's had enough of that. She's going to let Jonathan be a man and um, continue to, you know, do whatever he's doing over there. Let's actually have her play uh, the violin traditionally. But before we do so, I've got to go ahead and actually enable my music really quick because it's always so freaking loud I never do so when you're really good you're also able to serenade a sim which is super romantic and should definitely help you in your quest to uh, you know getting lucky just saying oh She's not doing too good, girl. I'm surprised you haven't broken those strings yet. But she A for effort. Ooh. Okay. A little rough around the edges, girl. It's okay, Natalia. Alrighty, that is enough of that. I'm not sure what's worse, that or nails on the chalkboard, but those are pretty bad. So anyway, that is the um, whole entire lot as a whole. There's a lot to explore, and I don't want to, you know, explore every like nook and cranny. I want to leave some for you guys. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what that looks like. I think we're going to go ahead and have her and her brewski, or they're not even together, but we're going to go and have them head on home. Um, and we are going to wait for these little eggaroos to finally hatch. And I guess when they, they start kind of like popping out of their shells, I'll, I'll pick up from there. So it's actually the next morning and I did observe a couple cool things. Um, the first thing I noticed is that the dragons that we had interacted with yesterday hatched within three hours of planting them. And then the other ones that we had no social interaction with actually hatched various times throughout the night and that was the other three. Um, for instance, we have two more eggs here, and you're wondering probably why I have those. Uh, I thought I lost these dragons. Like, they're really hard to keep track of because they're so tiny, and there's really no way to know exactly where they are yet. Um, and they were, like, in my inventory, and I thought I lost the black dragon, and then I didn't. It was just, it was a mess. So I'm still getting used to it, and I planted two more just in case for, like, backup. But anyway, um, there are, let's see, I'll show you guys, I guess, the, the dragons that hatch. So I got a black dragon he's so cool love him and that is again from having the dukes duke bow something renaissance fair and um the uh dragon valley or whatever it was so i got him 
then I have a purple dragon and then another purple dragon and two red dragons and I do believe that totals out to be five eggs so I don't have um the blue or the green one yet no I don't have the green one which kind of stinks. But anyways, I, I have most of them. So each dragon possesses its own special set of capabilities. This black dragon, he's so, I don't know, he's just so cool. Like the way he looks, the little armor. Honestly, excuse my language, but he is a badass dragon. He just is so awesome. I love him. So you can name the dragon, have him fly, feed him, play with him, talk to him about logic, which will actually boost your logic skill. You can summon a ghost, summon a death flower, cast a pan phantasmal curse. Uh, you can put him down and also put him in your inventory which is pretty cool. We'll experiment with that in just a split second. The uh, purple dragon, can uh, you can cast a rune charm. You can be the life of a party, summon someone, uh, summon, <laughs> that's a tongue twister, Sum, summon someone new, deep breath, uh, or summon a friend. You can talk to him about charisma, play with him, feed him, fly, and all the other stuff that you can do with the other, uh, other dragons. So for the red dragon, you can um, do all the same stuff. Uh, you can talk to him about athletic, which will in return boost your athletic skill. You can shoot a fireball at someone and you can cast a fiery torment on a sim as well. Uh, so let me just show you all what little, little purple poo looks like here. Too freaking cute. They are so adorable. Look at them. Ah, look at his hair. I love him. Um, so that's the purple dude. And then this is the the red guy here. Yep, pretty, pretty nice. Like him. Unfortunately, I don't have the green one to show you guys, but that's all right. Um, you know, I, I guess it's, maybe it's random. I don't know. But the only thing I noticed that was a strange coincidence was the whole talking to them and having yeah, them hatch pretty Bowen. soon sort of thing. So right now she was the talking North to him about logic. And you can see her logic bar going up, bitty, up, bitty, up. And when he sleeps, he sleeps in a black cloud of mysticness, which is pretty dang snazzy. So unlike the other ones, he sleeps in a black cloud. Um, I'm gonna actually have her have him summon a death flower to kind of see what that looks like and that's what they they look like perched up on your shoulder and this is what they look like sleeping oh oh wow he really did oh look at him there he is it's like she just pooped out a death flower it's so sweet we can actually put that in our inventory and um, again this is what they look like perched on your shoulder and I guess you can just have them there and also do other things at the exact same time, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't know where he just went. No, she put him on the ground. Uh, all right, so let's see if we can summon a ghost. I don't know if I want to do that, but we can go ahead and try. Come on, dude, you're taking forever. Let's see. They are so cute, though. I love them. Oh, man. <laughs> I like the black one the most so far. He's really cool. Alright. Oh, goodness. It says, Black Dragon has summoned a ghost of Banu to haunt the lot. So now our lot is haunted? I don't know. I don't really see see the ghost, but um, anyway, we're having Jonathan come talk to us. So those are just a few quick things that you can um, you can do. I hate to be mean, but we are going to shoot a fireball. Oh, there there's Banu, but I don't actually see her. Uh, we're going to shoot a fireball at Jonathan. So I think we can put him down, and then we'll pick up this little dude, and we will go ahead and see how this works. Oh, goodness. <laughs> that was interesting. All right, so nothing really happens except for the fact that he's a little upset that we try to, you know, set his caboose on fire. Um, but those are just a few of the quick little things that you can also do. Let's let's play with the purple one real fast, and then I think we'll, we'll call it a day. Um, let's see if we can be the life of the party and see what happens with that. He is extremely upset with us, I think. <laughs> what is this? See? Oh, that's what it looks like when the, the black dragon sleeps. 
What is he doing? Oh, okay, so we just had a whole bunch of interesting stuff going on. And it says there is no parties right now, so no, there's nothing to improve. All right, well, let's do one last thing. I'm having a ton of fun. Uh, we will cast the rune charm on Jonathan. He's our little guinea pig today. Let's see. Oh, he might shoot some stuff back. Oh, and that's him feeding the little black dragon a piece of steak. <laughs> and then I think you put him in his inventory as well. All right, so this will be the last thing we'll do. Oh, wow. So what happens, though? Nothing happened? That was kind of lame. <laughs> All right, so we have, uh, we've casted the rune charm on him, and I don't know what exactly that does. Well, again. Um, but yeah, okay. So those are just a few, uh, some of the few interactions you can do with the eggs and the little draggies and things like that. So yeah, for the record, you will be able to get the little dragon eggs. I think in about, e there'll be, whoa, holy, oh my goodness. Okay, we are being haunted. Hold on. <laughs> um, sorry to interrupt, but, uh, our shower is currently detached from the floor and doing a little jig in our bathroom. But anyway. Um, you will be able to purchase the dragon separately and the violin and the archery sets and a few of these other little interesting things, including the Celtic Lands set. I believe you'll be able to purchase that, I think, for 800 sim points in the future. And this is what it looks like with our little egg hatching. <gasps> We had another black dragon. Very nice, very nice. And I think this little dude's gonna hatch too, so I'll just keep blabbing my lips. But um, oh, it says how long it's gonna hatch. It says it's gonna hatch in five, four, three, two, one. Let's see what we get. Hopefully it's a green one, that'd be awesome. Okay. Nope, we got another red dragon. But anyway, at least you got to see what they uh, look like. So yeah, you'll be able to get those things um, individually. Uh, on the Sims 3 store, not now, but eventually. And um, yeah, so my overall opinion of this world is I really like it. Okay, like I was kind of skeptical. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm probably gonna waste $35 on this and absolutely freaking hate it. But surprisingly, I love it. Like I really do. I would probably have one of my um, big city Sims come move in and you know, just settle down and have a nice quiet life and you know, I really do like it. I think it's it's the fact that it's modern, it appeals to just a whole bunch of array of people, and I just, I really do appreciate this world for what it is. I really like it a lot. Like, way more, like I said, way more than I thought I would. Um, I do think it's a little expensive for the gold edition, but with all the perks, it kind of makes it worth it. Um, but yeah, my overall opinion is I like this, and I think even for somebody who isn't really into the, you know, fantasy aspect or the medieval times, uh, of the Sims, this this could be fun for that kind of person as well. I think it really does appeal to a wide range of audiences, and the fact that the dragons are so stinking cute, obviously, is a big perk. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wrap up this review. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And of course, if you would like more information on this world and the things included, go ahead and check the description bar down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my very next video. Bye.